Hi, this is Gali Gofarb, and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling obsessed, because today, our quote of the day is, Good requires motivation, but great requires obsession, by M. Kobanli. Now, obsession is deep-seated, intense dedication. Obsession is passion that is intensified. Obsession breeds curiosity, engagement, excitement, and a will to learn and focus on the obsessed object. Being obsessed with something is a powerful motivator that will help you reach your goals. You need to have some form of obsession to overcome the main, many difficulties on your way towards your goals. Yes, I know that obsession can be reckless, but nonetheless, recklessness is sometimes quite necessary to innovate or create something new. People see obsessiveness as a negative characteristic, but if I look back at my life, I only really succeeded at things that I became obsessed with. When you look at the people who have really achieved a lot in life, they will tell you that they were obsessed with what they were doing. Having an interest is in something is just not enough to move you forward. There must be some form of obsession. With an obsession, you can focus for much longer than a person who has, who has been there is there half-heartedly. With an obsession, you choose to focus your attention on one particular goal that becomes the most important for you to achieve. This becomes your obsession. And this obsession will lead you to increase your level of competence in that area to become better at it every single day. It is a state that you are willing to do, try, learn, as well as your obsession. Even though you have this obsession, then you can reach great heights. It is important, of major importance, to maintain integrity, of course. While craziness to accomplish something that has never been done before or to achieve anything that is against the ordinary. There is some risk involved in doing things that in an obsessive manner, but this is also what brings the greatest reward. Some people may be passionate about a few things, but when one is obsessed, it is that focused concentration on one thing that allows them to reach great heights in that subject. One person said that you have to, ha you have to want it and need it as much as you want and need to breathe. You live it, you feel it in every single cell of your body. It becomes an indispensable part of you. It is not easy to live with an obsession because you may suffer a great fall. Most people, that's why most people instinctively steer away from obsessions. They will fear what it, what it will make of them. But when you are working on yourself and improving yourself daily and are setting goals that can be physically reached, even if they are very big with time that can be reached, then you slowly grow and become a person who can handle more internal stress. And this internal stress is there when you are obsessed with something. So you become stronger through this obsession and you can handle much more. You are happiest when you are working on your obsession and you can work on it for many, many hours a day without taking note. When you are working on your obsession, you are actually less stressed as well. You love it. Even during hard times when there are signs that you may fail and many people even criticize your behavior or even when you don't have much payoff yet from your efforts, then you still keep on going because it is so important to you. Obsession in the dictionary is a negative word. But I say, if you are working towards a worthy cause while maintaining integrity and you are concentrating on one thing obsessively, this is practically the only way you can achieve great worthwhile results. Yes, it is not normal that a person places so much focus, effort, time, and hard work on one particular subject. But when this is done, of course the result will be, with time, much greater than any person who did things in a normal way without being there with their whole heart, mind, and soul. Being normal will not get you very far. The average wages that a person earns in the United States are about $20 an hour, which comes to about $40,000 per year for a full-time worker. 
Now, this may be enough if you are single and you don't eat out much and you don't uh, spend on a lot of uh, many things. But if you have a family, this is not very much. And being normal is not an aim that will help you reach the best version of yourself. So often I hear people uh, that say that everything needs to be done in moderation. I absolutely do not agree with this. Let's take, for example, a marriage. If one side betrays in moderation, is that bit to the relationship and even obsessed with one another or to make things work out between them, then which marriage do you think will be better off in the long run and more fulfilling for the partners? Well, what about health? If we drink, take a few drugs or smoke in moderation, will this help our health in, our, in the long run? Or will an obsession with our health, a sort of obsession with our health, make us wake up early in the morning, go out for physical activity, eat healthy, manage our stress, and do meditation? Wouldn't that be far better for our overall health? Of course it would. What about going after our goals? If we have a few motivation to reach these goals, make, them re uh, make us reach them no matter what, or will having a goal that we are obsessed with, that we need to achieve and we need to reach it no matter what, provide us with higher motivation and willpower to achieve that goal? Of course. Having a definiteness of aim is always better, stronger, and more powerful than having goals that are good to have, good to achieve, that will make you happy. That's not enough. Having an obsession for something is that definiteness of purpose that can move mountains. And usually there are a few mountains on the way to your goals. Obsessions can change over time and different obsessions will come at different times in our life. But going deep with something is the best way to move you forward towards achieving something big. The most important thing about obsessions is that they remain in line with your values. This is very, very important to maintain integrity and that you will not give up your values to pursue any goal, no matter what. You will just find a better way to achieve your goal that is in line with your values and maintains your integrity. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what is my life purpose? I have a video about this that you can uh, uh, look and help you find your life purpose. So ask yourself, what is my life purpose? And is there a way for me to make my life purpose into my obsession in life? As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook they have, especially prepared for these coaching sessions that you can look over them and make sure that you're moving your life to the best place for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am obsessed with the attainment of my highest purpose in life. I am obsessed with the attainment of my highest purpose in life. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to transform your life uh, through repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video on personal development or health. Also, please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet.